Most of us have had the experience of being in the presence of another person or even the, the a place of business sometimes where we just have a sense, a feeling that something's off. So now we're able to put science behind that. We really understand why this is happening or on the other hand, why it can feel uh, really good to be around certain people. So for example, when you go to the doctor's office and they put electrodes across your chest to measure your, your heartbeat, your electrocardiogram, what you're measuring there is the flow of electricity. That's why it's called the electrocardiogram. It's the electricity produced by the heart. We know from basic physics that whenever you have a flow of current, you also create what's called a magnetic field. The same kind of field around a magnet like you stick on your refrigerator. Well, magnetic fields are unique in that they tend to go through things, they penetrate. That's why a cell phone will work inside of a building. In fact, the cell phone is a great analogy for what I'm talking about here. So we use the magnetic field between our cell phone and the tower to carry the information, the photograph that you just took, or the conversation you're having, or the text message. It's all being carried by the field. So what I'm saying here is we work the same way. The magnetic fields that are produced, especially by the heart, is a carrier of information, especially about our emotional state. So that was step one. We can actually decode that information, and so anger or frustration looks very different, the information being carried, than if we're in a state of love or appreciation, compassion, kindness, and so on. The next step then was to, to find and show that we're also antennas. Our nervous systems are like a big receiving antenna, kind of like back to our cell phone, receiving the signal. So we can detect that information in other people's fields. And not only that, not only do we detect it, it actually has measurable effects on us. So for example, if we're in a, the presence or a room full of people who are really upset and kind of negative or have you know, cynical attitudes and so on, that actually has a measurable impact on us. It drains our energy, helps, it puts us into a more incoherent state unless we've really learned to maintain our own center, even in the presence of the, those fields, which most people haven't yet. So one series of experiments showed that uh, when people are in a more heart coherent state, which is where the state we're naturally in when we're more loving or appreciative, these the positive states, that that actually has a measurable impact on other people that take, helps them shift into a more coherent state, even if they don't know what's going on. They're naive to the experiment. Now this is important in, in our interactions with other people. So for example, if a family member or a close friend, maybe even a lover, is having a bad day, having a hard day, maybe frazzled or they got some news that's upsetting, one of the best things we can possibly do to help them is to really maintain our inner state, our inner composure, be in that more coherent heart state. And then we do that by truly accessing more love or compassion or kindness for them. And that creates our field to be more coherent, which helps lift them so they can find their composure, their balance much quicker.